Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. In today's video, we'll be answering the question, what is a cut vertex? We begin by looking at this beautiful graph G. Notice that G has two components. But what if we were to remove the vertex J, as well as its incident edges? Then how many components would G have? Well, let's figure it out. We'll erase the vertex G, as well as all of its incident edges. So now, technically, the graph we're looking at is not G, but it's G minus J. So this is the graph G without the vertex J, and without the edges incident to J. How many components are in this graph? Well, we see there's one, two, three components in the graph. So by deleting the vertex J from the graph G, we got a graph that has more components than G did. Thus, we say that J is a cut vertex. So that's what a cut vertex is. If, in a graph, by removing a particular vertex, you create additional components, then that vertex is a cut vertex. Now let me restore the graph G back to its original state. So now we're back to the original graph G that has two components. What would happen if we delete G and its incident edges? Well, let's try it. We'll delete the vertex G and delete its incident edges. So now, technically, this graph that we're looking at is the graph G minus the vertex G. So how many components are in this graph? Well, there's still only two components. So G is not a cut vertex, because by deleting G, we don't create any additional components. The graph G has two components, and the graph G minus the vertex G also has two components. So again, G is not a cut vertex. Let's see one more example of a vertex that is a cut vertex. What happens if we delete the vertex C and its incident edges? Well, let's do it. We delete C and delete all those incident edges. So now what we are looking at is the graph G minus the vertex C. And we can see that this graph, after deleting C, has one, two, three components. So we say that C is a cut vertex. So again, if the graph without the vertex has more components than the graph with the vertex, then that vertex is a cut vertex. Another way you can think about cut vertices is that a vertex is a cut vertex if, by deleting that vertex and its incident edges, you disconnect the component that that vertex belonged to. So in this case, we see how deleting the vertex C disconnects this component. Thus, we've now created more components than we originally had. And that's what makes C a cut vertex. Cut vertices are also sometimes called articulation points. And I like how this website, Geeks for Geeks, phrases it. It says that an articulation point, or a cut vertex, represents a vulnerability in a connected network or graph. Because if that cut vertex gets removed, then the component it belongs to becomes disconnected. So that's just a little bit about what a cut vertex is. The next natural question to ask is, what are some other ways we can identify cut vertices aside from just using the definition? We will start to touch on that in another lesson. For now, I hope this video helped you understand what cut vertices are. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description. My plutonium dream is the hellfire home. The earth imploded to die.